steak, burgers, bacon, all your favorite red meat options could disappear from your diet from a simple tick bite. Here to talk about the spread of alpha gal syndrome is Dr. Andre Petroff, an allergy and clinical immunologist at UPMC. This blew my mind when I started hearing about this. So what is this syndrome? So alpha gal syndrome is an allergy to alpha gal molecule that is present in mammalian red meats and derived product, mammalian derived products. What's unique about this allergy is that it can occur at any age. It usually occurs in patients who have previously tolerated red meats. And finally, it is, a, it is developed after a tick bite. How did we find this correlation? Because it just seems crazy to me that, I mean, we're, we're learning more and more about ticks and, and some of the dangerous diseases they can cause, but how did we put these two together? Oh, that's a great question. So in the early 2000s, uh, it was noticed that many patients in the South were, were reacting to this cancer drug that contained alpha-gal molecule. And it was curious that they were reacted, reacting only in the part of the country where this tick is located. Wow. And then someone made a connection that this tick contains the alpha-gal molecule, and this alpha-gal molecule was also present in this cancer drug. Wow. And then they put two and two together. So patients who were exposed to this cancer drug would become allergic to this alpha-gal molecule, and then after they would eat the red meat that's usually lamb, uh, beef, venison, pork, they would be exposed to the same molecule and develop an allergic reaction. So what are we talking about? Because I think we think of, you know, seasonal allergies, you get some itchiness. Um, if you have a more severe allergy to a food, you can have more severe symptoms. Yeah. So what are we talking about with red meat? So, so these patients usually present uh, about two to eight hours after eating red meat. And the symptoms can, be, can range from mild to severe. They can present with local hives, swelling, but they can also present with a life-threatening anaphylaxis wow. with cardiovascular and res respiratory symptoms. Because th these symptoms are not immediate and they occur in patients who have previously tolerated red meat allergy, this diagnosis is fre frequently missed or delayed. So what do you do if you start to feel like there, this might be, I mean, do you see an allergist? How do you, how do you get to the bottom of this? So first you have to suspect the symptoms. Right. But once you suspect them, the diagnosis is relatively easy. There is a single blood test that can be drawn and we can detect these IgE antibodies against alpha-gal. The mainstay of treatment is to avoid all red meats wow. and then to avoid future tick bites too because patients who don't have frequent tick bites, some of them can grow out of this allergy and they can lose it and they can eat red meats again. However, if you have recurrent tick bites, uh, this uh, amplifies or reinforces the allergy. While you're here, I'd love to talk to you about fall allergies too, because we are already seeing um, some of the alerts come up and surface for some of the known fall allergies. Is this earlier than normal? Well, I think we are in the middle of, of the allergy season. So the early spring, that's usually tree pollens, then late spring to midsummer, that's the grass pollens. And now we're entering into the weed season. So we're talking ragweed and all, all the other weeds. The molds also thrive in the humid and hot weather. So I think we're, we've had a really busy allergy season. I think this season will be busy like others. Do, are you seeing, or do you find that more and more people are developing allergies? I mean, is it just to seasonal, like you said, pollen, tree pollen, that sort of thing? Yeah, I don't know if I should say this, but Pittsburgh is number one allergy capital in the country, according to the Allergy and Asthma Foundation of America. Wow, okay, so, so, so we're so right we have, in our complaining. So we are, uh, <laughs> We have a lot of allergies and, uh, you know, and, you know, allergens can impact the quality of life. Right. Patients can have severe nasal eye symptoms. It can, allergens can trigger asthma. So, you know, I'd, I'd recommend seeking medical help if you have bad allergies. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for talking to us about this. I mean, for anybody who's suffering from seasonal allergies and also just talking about this alpha-gal alpha syndrome, which I had no idea even existed until just recently. So yeah. thank you for bringing us up to speed. Thank you so much. And uh, we want to thank the doctor for joining us. If you're spending time outside this fall, there are some steps that you can take to prevent tick bites. Try wearing light colored pants and long sleeve shirts. Treat your clothes with repellent and stay away from areas with high grass. Once indoors, it's best to shower within two hours and double check your clothing and body. Thanks again, and we'll be right back.